Okay. There's a lot of beasts playing tackle in the ACC, aren't there? A lot Defe of beast, uh, beasts playing defensive tackle in the ACC. I mean, yeah, the ACC is a really great league. We've got great yeah. defensive linemen and great offensive linemen, too. So. Makes some good trench warfare, you know, watching you guys with the binoculars and everything. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a fun part of the game. Zion, two sacks allowed in the first four games, but 15 in the last four. What do you guys have to do to shore that up this week against Virginia Tech? I mean, our mindset's not changed. We know that, you know, we can't let the quarterback get hit. So we're just going to, you know, focus on it in practice and make sure that, you know, we're adhering to the game plan. We're working on technique. And, you know, when guys are getting tired, they're not reverting to bad habits. They're making sure that they're, you know, working their technique properly, that sort of thing. Does it kind of even make a difference to you guys who's back there? Or are you just so focused on your assignments? And I mean, we're, we're blessed to have a lot of guys that, you know, can operate in the back, back in the pocket. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to do our job uh, no matter who's back there, whether it's Phil, Dennis, Emmett, or whoever else is on the roster, you know, we're going to try to protect them and do our best to perform and execute. How can you build on that? the momentum, the uh, emotion is the word I'm looking for, Friday night under the lights? fans are going to be there with the red bandanas. What does that mean to you and how can that provide the boost you need? I mean, it, it means a lot. When I first got here in 2019, I heard a lot about, you know, the story of the red bandana, Wells Crowther and what he did in uh, 9-11, who he saved and, you know, just him being a hero. We want to go out and play with, you know, a ferocity that, you know, mimics what he showed on that day. So, you know, it means a lot to us. You know, it de it's definitely an added edge for us. Along those lines, is it nice to have that game this week of all weeks with everything kind of going on, all the noise and, and all that stuff, to be able to focus on, you know, the emotion of that game and, and all that? Does that kind of help, um, I guess, the preparation this week? I mean, I, I think in a sense having the red bandana on the other end of the season is like a red bandana game. It's like a thing that kind of propels us to the end of the season, you know. That, that emotion, uh, you know, the feelings we feel from – what Wells did, you know, is something that definitely drives us throughout the rest of the season. So, yeah, you know, we, we love playing the Red Bandana game in November. What can you guys do specifically in the red zone to make sure you get touchdowns instead of field goals? Um, I mean, execution. I mean, that, at the end of the day, you know, all we have to do is do our jobs, whether it's the offensive line, why we see anybody on offense. We just have to adhere to the game plan and do our job. And, you know, we'll fix whatever we got to fix. Uh, towards the end of last week's game, they moved you over to the left tackle for a little bit. Is it hard to make that transition in game? I know you played all this last season at left tackle. Though. I mean, well, I had a whole season of experience at tackle, and at the end of the day, you know, whether you know they want to move me to tackle, center, guard, whatever it is, I'm going to do whatever I can to help the team win. I think we'll do. Yeah. All right. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.